is New Center One Today at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Ellis. And I'm Eric Burke. Thanks for joining us for New Center One today at noon. Dozens of schools, businesses, and events are closed, canceled, and postponed. We have the latest information on our website, newcenter1.tv. The storm is developing and intensifying, and that means the roads are getting worse. As of 11 this morning, the Rapid City Police Department issued a no-travel advisory for Rapid City. And now we're joined by Chief Allender, the Rapid City Police Chief here, and I'm sure it has been a busy morning for you and your guys out. It's been busy. We're uh, we're holding our breath, waiting to see what's around the corner, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, if people do have to drive, what is your advice to them? Well, if you have to drive, that's what a travel advisory is really all about. When we issue a travel advisory, if you have to drive, drive. But just know that it should be important enough to risk being stranded in a time when we may not be able to rescue re you right away. Now, you mentioned this morning, uh, and this was about 7 o'clock, that you already saw about half a dozen cars in the ditches. Are you expecting this to increase throughout the evening hours or hoping that people will kind of hold off and stay home? Well, uh, the, good, the good thing is we had early notifications this morning about schools and other uh, government agencies being closed and so on. That was good for us because the amount of traffic on the roads today is uh, less than a normal Friday. Mm -hmm. So that was on our side. Now, currently, we're just starting to get more reports of accidents, uh, some power lines down. Uh, we can see that there are heavy trees uh, hanging over the roads and over power lines. And uh, that's what we're kind of holding out to see how that develops. And just on your way to the studio here, what were some of the things you saw and what are you advising people to do until the roads get better? Well, I did, I did see that Omaha Street was being plowed, so that was very nice, but that's a state highway. Uh, and so uh, that doesn't mean that the city streets are going to be plowed, nor it doesn't mean that they should be plowed. But the, the, uh, the street conditions, the slush is very uh, deceiving because it looks like it's just a little mm -hmm. wet, but in fact it can be three or four inches thick, can cause you to hydroplane and hit the curb or a parked car, or in many cases the ditch on the outskirts of town. Well, Chief Allender, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Drive safe out there. You heard it from the man himself. Uh, if you can't stay home, please do so. And uh, Interstate 90 closed from the Wyoming border all the way to Sturgis. Thomas Patrick is stranded <laughs> in Spearfish, so we're going to go to him live right now. Thomas, what's it like out there? Thanks guys, I'm here live at Black Hill State in Spearfish, and I wanna go first through some uh, snowfall accumulations. I checked out some of the radar data a little bit earlier today, and some areas now seeing up to 20 inches of snow in the hills. But right here at Black Hill State, I got my yardstick out, and uh, over a foot of snow right now, almost topping 13 inches right here on campus. So it's still falling up to three inches per hour, at times it's backed off a little bit since then but still coming down hard and consistently the other factor we've seen all around spearfish is the tree are being uh, the limbs are being broken off the trees here so be careful on the roads no travel advisory for Lawrence Butte and Meade counties here today so it's gonna snow and keep snowing tis the season here at Black Hill State. I'm meteorologist Thomas Patrick. We're going to send it back in the studio where Eric is standing by. Well, thank you, Thomas. And uh, we've been dealing with this storm for the past week, and we've been forecasting it. We still have that blizzard warning in effect for the red-shaded counties east of the Black Hills. Pink-shaded counties under a winter storm warning. Both of these will expire at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's going to keep snowing. And as the system slides to the east, it seems to be intensifying as well. Rapid City Regional Airport is officially closed. 32 degrees, though. The thermometer's still working. We have overcast skies overhead. Snow still falling. Uh, heavy at times, up to an inch to two inches per hour. Winds on the strong sites sustained around 41 miles per hour. Recent gusts close to 50. Look at that wind chill. That's something we haven't seen since April. 16 degrees. Some snowfall totals from earlier today. The, they're coming in kind of slowly this afternoon. Lead the big winner 22 inches of snowfall and that was at about 945 this morning. So I'm guessing they have another four to five inches. Out. Eight miles west of Spearfish, around a foot along with Hewlett there. Whitewood, 5.4 and 4.8, just five miles southwest of Rapid City. Some of those came in around 7.30 this morning. I'm updating them on Facebook and Twitter as fast as I can. Four miles west-northwest of Nemo, 14, and in Deerfield, around a foot there. We're expecting accumulations to continue. Current winds, very windy out there. Sustained winds between 35, 50 miles per hour. Some gusts even up in the 60 to 70 range. We do have the blizzard warning. That means low visibility, as you notice, mainly in the hills out here at Rapid City Regional Airport, around a quarter mile 
near whiteout conditions at times, slowly increasing as you move east towards the Missouri River Valley. A lot of rain, snow mix uh, east of the Black Hills. Here's the last 12 hour satellite and right over we're going to pull it in. You'd see that snow line kind of increasing and the rain line pushing off to the east. Colder air building in from Canada. Zoom into those northern hills there you have at Lawrence County, just absolutely getting pounded into western Pennington County. And as we slide into southwestern South Dakota, a few rain showers mixed in along with some frozen precip and road conditions really just not looking too good. Here's what our model is thinking. The snow is not going anywhere for the next uh, 24 to 36 hours here. And your evening hour is going to be a very dangerous commute home from work if you can't sneak out early. There's a center of low pressure, wraparound moisture, warm cold there, hence the snow falling, heavy at times, notice still sticking around into your Saturday morning hours. I think finally then we will get out of here. As far as accumulations go, there you have it. We're going 12 to 26 northern hills uh, east of there, 8 to 16 down in southwestern South Dakota, 10 to 22, and 6 to 10 as you slide further east. So we've got a live shot. Join us at 530 and 10.